Well, hi everyone. Just going for another rainy camp. People think I'm crazy, but I quite enjoy the rain. So I thought you guys might want to come along with us. Kids are here, Bella and Charlie, and my name's Wendy. So let's get going. Just had to buy a few little extra groceries on the way, so they're fresh. And we are off. So where I'm going, it's a place I go to quite regularly because it's close to home. It's right beside the river and you don't need to drive 100 miles to see a spot just as pretty. So, I've come up here just for the night. I've got commitments at home so I can't stay for, for any longer but that's all I need. Just a little night away and if I have to spend it sitting in the van reading or watching movies listening to the rain on the roof then that's not really a bad thing is it? <laughs> I know I could do the same thing at home but it's just not not the same. Hope you can hear me over this noisy van. I have got my fishing rod so hoping to do a bit of fishing. It's trout season here in Tasmania now and we do have some nice trout. I don't really care if I don't catch any fish, it's just the going through the motions. Just it's just something, I don't know, calming about it and peaceful. So hoping to do a bit of that. And my only worry is if I just fall the rain it's supposed to fall, but you know what the weather's like. It um it could be a flash flood. <laughs> What do you reckon? You want to go camping? set up. I forgot the kids camping chairs but they'll make do with their sleeping bags I'm sure. The river's running a bit fast but it's not as high as I thought it might have been after all the rain we've had. We're nowhere near the um, danger point on the 
flood scale, so that's good to know. In 2016, there was a big flash flood and the water came up here. There used to be a house there where that foundation is. That got swept away. The water was completely... See where that sign is up there? There's a, the grey on the walls and there's a tanny colour. That's how high the water came up. That's a bit scary. But so far there's no flood watches. I've set up a second little camp. Down here. So I'll bring the fishing rod down and have a bit of a fish. And if it rains... I can sit under there, I don't know how waterproof it is, but it'll keep me a bit dry. I'll make a fire. Oh, there's a platypus. Oh, how about that? Where did he go? He might keep a cup in front of his. Where did he go? Oh, he's going upstream. See him on the rocks? He's going up there. Here he comes. Beautiful. I'm very happy, everyone. <laughs> very, very happy. Gotta go back up to these kids. Charlie didn't want to come out of the van. Oh, he's gone. Hey, Bobby Bell. I just saw a platypus. I just saw a platypus kid, darling. I did. I did, darling. Do you want to go out for wheelies? Hey, we're going to show everyone our bedroom view. Here's our Charlie. Here he is. You're a cute little kid. Do you want to go out for wee-wees? I saw a platypus. I did. I saw a little platypus. Hey. So, this is our bedroom window view. How bad is it? Oh, beautiful. I sat and read a book from my iPad for a little while. Um, the sound from the camera that I was using, for some reason the audio didn't copy over when I downloaded to the phone. So I'll just leave you with, with a little bit of music and you can enjoy a little bit of relaxing time too. I put this up, I made this a couple of years ago and I haven't really used it but I noticed it might have been chewed by mice or, or something while it was stored away in the shed. 
but it's just blocking a bit of breeze and a bit of the light drizzle that comes and goes. It's not raining yet, so, so far. Oh, there goes a big tree going down there. Bye tree, safe journeys. And I'm going to get visitors soon, so so far this has been just beautiful, very relaxing. I'll head down and when my visitors go I'll head down and set up the fishing rod and do a bit of fishing and light the fire. In my fishing hut. It's actually a sun shelter but huh, it'll do. So I've got my little fishing camp set up. I've got the fire, I've got the rod out. It, I think it's a bit too dark, but it's too dark to use lures. So I've got super bait and it's really bright so I think it could be worth a try in these conditions. Not that I'm any great fisher person of course, but you know, you can try. I'll show you the fire. So here we are. The line's in the water. In the little calm pool just here. And there's Bella with the fire. And we're sitting inside our little tent. Cut tent. Charlie's hiding from the fire over there somewhere. Might take Charlie back to the van soon. He doesn't like the fire. Oh, but it's getting off a nice bit of heat. I'll have to go and get some more wood, I think. It's just lovely sitting here. Bella, Bella, is this good Bobby girl? Hey. I'd look if I actually caught something, I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I mean I like fishing, I like going through the motions, but I don't want to hurt the fish when I have to take the hook out of its mouth. So it's better if someone's here, so they can do it for me. <laughs> yeah, not much of a fishing person, but... <sighs> but if you just go through the motions, it's just relaxing. <laughs> well, I'm going to do this for a little while. And then I'll come back to you. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Oh. Ready? Kid. <laughs> okay, we might bring it in. There's a bit of river fog setting in now. Makes it look all eerie and spooky. <laughs> well, no bite so far. We're still trying. It's nearly five o'clock in the evening now. Nearly time to go get some dinner because I'm a bit hungry. But we'll keep fishing for a little bit longer. Don't we, Bill? Charlie's gone back to the van because he's a bit scared of the smoke from the fire. Doesn't He doesn't like it, so he's back in the van. We'll go back up to it.
I'll sniff it out. You can find one. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if, you, if you see a wound, cut it off. Under a log or... Yeah. Good luck again. So, even with the fog, Bella was just growling her low, grumbly growl, which is a bit creepy. But even with the fog and the light drizzle, which you can't see in the camera, um, it's just beautiful. I'm just loving every minute of it. We've just been wandering around looking for worms. And can you believe it? I actually put a worm on a hook. I did do a bit of squealing and felt really bad for the worm because I thought it must be hurting the poor thing. But a man said that he used worms and he caught a fish here in the first 30 seconds of putting his rod in and blowing him. So I thought, oh well, I'll give it a go. And to be fair, the worm didn't look very healthy, so I probably did him a favour. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Anyway, as I said, after we fish for a bit longer, we'll go up and have a bit of dinner. Catch you all later. children. Here we are. Come on baby girl. Do you need to go for a wee? Hey, let's go for a wee wee. Oh he's sneezing Charlie. Move back. Move back. Lower the drawbridge. Bridge. <laughs> Come this way Charlie. Charlie. Oh, all that way. That way works too. Come that way. There we go. We go get up. There you are. Yeah, I know.
That's it. Oh, 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 get off, get off. We just got back from the night walk and I was sitting here and I looked at the time and I thought, wow, it's 11 o'clock already, we should be in bed. And then I felt a prick or a sting in between two fingers and I had a look and it was a leech. I hate leeches, I'm scared of leeches, I don't mind if you I'm scared of leeches, so I had a bit of a freak out. But now I've got to check me and check the kids because I don't want leeches coming to my bed with me. Look them little suckers. Oh, I'll show you a video of it. Well, it's time for bed now. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares about leeches now. Fancy a leech getting on me. I guess I didn't even think of that when we went for our night walk. I had the GoPro on when we went for our night walk and I'm there talking away, telling you all about it. Charlie started growling at something I couldn't see so I got spooked and turned back. And when we got back we saw wallabies, we followed some wallabies, one stayed still while we got really close. We found a track down to the river and then when I got back to the van I realised that the, the GoPro had stopped working cause, because the uh, SD card was full. <laughs> All that and I only got about three minutes <laughs> of walking, but that was just around the grass here. <laughs> oh well, win some, lose some. Lose some, win some? Oh, help. Whatever it is. Anyway, this, where the leech got me between the two fingers, that's already stinging and itchy, so that's going to be pretty annoying tonight. And I haven't seen any on the kids and I've checked myself and I don't think I've got any more. I hope not. Anyway, it's time for night eyes, so I'll see you all in the morning. All cuddled up and gone to sleep. Charlie's sleeping over there, and I just realised I haven't locked the van up. I better do that, bed and I. All right, and then I'll go to night, night eyes. Okay, see you in the morning. Bella, good morning, darling. Did you sleep okay? Hey? We'll go for a walk soon. Good morning, Charlie. Did you hear me say walk? You kids are sleepy heads. Good morning, Bobby girl. You're still tired. Hey, yeah. Charlie, are you still tired too? You're very, very much sleepy heads, aren't you? <sighs> This is a life, everyone. This is a life. Laying in bed, looking at a bit like that, <laughs> having a coffee. Hmm. It's just beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I don't know whether it's worth having another fish or not. I'm trying to debate whether to in my head. I have to find my lures. They're in here somewhere. If I can find my lures, I might just have a little... Oh, there goes a kookaburra. There's a kookaburra. Very well. There he is. Look at that. He's not laughing though. Hmm. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. It's starting to drizzle. I'll enjoy this coffee before it starts raining too much. Charlie decided to come. Charlie decided to come and join me. <laughs> so 
So we're all packed up. And I thought I'd bring the rod along here and put it in for a little bit. Come on, kids. Okay, so I just put the fishing rod away. That was a debacle, that was. <laughs> I um, couldn't get the line to stay out in the middle of the river because the current's so strong. It kept heading over to the bank. So I pulled it in a few times. <laughs> ah, and the more I tried, the more tangled up I got everything. I should have left it alone, left it sitting up against the bank of the, bank of the river waiting for Mr Trout to come along. Come on Charlie. But what's the matter? What's wrong? But I kept persisting and of course I ended up getting the hook and the sinker caught on absolutely everything. I ended up losing the worm so I packed it up. And then while I was just trying to get the hook back in I got that caught on everything I possibly could. <laughs> Oh dear, trust me. Anyway, I'm going to take the kids for a, a walk on this lovely track. Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie wants to stop and pee on everything. Don't you, Charlie? <laughs> so, we'll go for a walk. I've got the van all packed up, so we'll head, we'll head back after we've had our little walk. It's such a beautiful day. Even if it's overcast, there's no wind, a little bit of fog. It's just beautiful. It's one of those, well, you could even say it was a romantic sort of day, or you could say it was an eerie sort of day. I'd rather go with a romantic sort of day. <laughs> but I am a, a unicorn and popsicle sort of person. Try to see the good side of everything. I can see a lady walking on the suspension bridge with a dog. <laughs> right, I'm just going to enjoy this walk now. Stop babbling. Front. <laughs> Who's Fruit Tail? What are you doing? Not rolling in that wallaby poo, Bella. Bella. This is probably where all the fish are. Hey, come here. Wow. The bridge is... Okay guys, we'll leave it here. Hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. It all helps. Okay, see you later. Bye.